We worry, worry turns into envy. Envy becomes idol worship. Envy becomes the place in our life to whereby that we let worry overcome every good conscious thing that we do. We worry about things and when we worry about things we become envious of other people in our life because we don't have what we feel like we should have. So when someone else that we know or see or family or etc. has something that we wish we had, we become envious of that and in that envy we become idol worship and begin to say things that we wouldn't otherwise say because people in our lives now, have, we've brought our worry to the, to the head and in the head of that we become envious of other people and I promise you my friends and my point in bringing up envy this morning is this, is whenever we get envious of other people, God cannot open the windows of heaven to us because we do not understand many times what other people have and been, have been through in their life to get maybe what outpour God's poured out in their life. I couldn't repeat that again, but nonetheless, I want you to understand that there comes a time in all of our lives that we must get to the place that we can appreciate other people's blessings in such a way that it carries us from the room that we're in to the next room that you have to go to. You can never get what you are looking for until you can be happy for someone else that is where you want to go. I am, can I preach for a moment? I, I am so tired of listening to people say, well, you know, I really feel like this is in my future and God's going to do this and God's going to do that. But they can't look at somebody else that is where they want to go and say good things about them. You never get to where you want to go until you can say good things about Well, that's amazing how many times that old washing machine can tear. 